Hi guys, Max HD here, back again with another video and welcome back to the channel. So this is my match review for the Newcastle vs Bournemouth game which happened today at St James's Park. So without further ado, let's get on with the match review. So Newcastle dropped a 1-0 result after a late goal in the long goal in stoppage time from Steve Cook. Uh, after playing at Bowling brand of football against Burnley on Monday, Newcastle came out against Bournemouth today. Uh, firing on all cylinders, unfortunately, uh, conceding a late header and dropping the three points at St James's. Uh, Rafa went with Jocelyn and Dwight Gale up front, uh, replacing the ineffective Jose Perez in the process. Uh, the change in the lineup seemed to be constant, with a tweak in the tactics, uh, a more aggressive attacking style as well. Dwight Gale had a few quality chances in the first half. Uh, including a waved away goal for a questionable offside decision, which you can see on match of the day tonight. Personally, he uh, was 100% on side as I did watch the match, and I'm uh, seeing it quite clearly on the replay that he was on side. He was played on by the Bournemouth uh, defender. Matt Ritchie was a workhorse as well today, as always. And Christian Atu had some danger about him as well. While Newcastle were the aggressor at times, Bournemouth found plenty of room on the counter-attack. One of those runs in the second half found Callum Wilson one-on-one -on -one with Rob Elliott. But he sent his shot wide. Uh, the Cherries thought they had won the match before the 90th minute though with Mark Pugh. Uh, found space in the box uh, but his shot bounced off the right post. Bournemouth were... A would find a winner in stoppage time. A uh, cross was met up high by Steve Cook, whose header flew past Rob Elliott. Newcastle United had little time after the goal to equalise and couldn't put anything together. It's a frustrating loss, especially at home, uh, because the squad played with energy and passion, but couldn't find the last piece to the puzzle. Uh, Jamal Lascelles and Christian Natsu also went off in the second half due to injury. Uh, but neither appears to be too serious. Newcastle will head into the international break with bad taste in our mouths, but we will come back off the international break uh, to travel to Manchester to take on Manchester United, which will be a half five kickoff on the 18th of November. So let us know what you think in the comments below. Do you think we should have won today against Bournemouth? Because personally, I think we should have. We had all the better of the uh, two sides. And it was just that one questionable decision of the offside. I think that really cost the game for us today. Otherwise, I think we would have ended up running out this game. Maybe 1-0, 2-0, 3-0 winners. Uh, but let us know what you think in the comments below. Also, if you haven't done it yet, head across to my social media accounts. The links will be in the description below. And if you can, please give it a like up on this video if you liked it. And also, if you can, subscribe as it would really help me out. And as always, I've been Max HD, and I'll see you next time.